Hello friends, welcome to the SYBSC IT Semester 4 Embedded System Practicals. Today's practical is use of one of four ports of 8051 microcontroller for output interface to eight LEDs. Simulate binary counter on LEDs. So here we are going to use eight different LEDs and we are going to simulate a binary counter on it. To do so, we require this program. So as usual, we have to start with include register 51.h. This is the required file or the library file that you need to include in each of the program of embedded C. Then we have taken a loop function. This is the function prototype of delay function. This is user defined function that we have written. This is the loop delay function. If you want, you can use timer mode or P mode register to create a delay. I have demonstrated that also in one of my videos. You can refer those videos for the same. Then we need a main function. So in main function, we have taken one port that is P2, which is initialized to 0 for, for all those pins. So you can define this P2 equal to 0 in this way, or you can write 0, x 0, 0 if you are going to assign the value in terms of hexadecimal. Then this is an infinite loop Y1. We require infinite loop for any embedded system program. Here we are simply incrementing P2. The value of P2 will in be incremented simply one by one. So like initially it is zero. After this instruction, it will become one, then it will become two, three, and it will go up to two dash to seven. So that is how the total values that we are going to display. Then we are we have called this delay function the, uh, with value 10 in it. So this 10 is actually the number of uh, time you want to execute this particular loop. Now this is simply like it is your processor is being busy for this much steps and this will create a loop in your program. Now the next is this is how your PA software ID will look like where you are going to write your code. And this is the output. You see here to this microcontroller port P2 as we have used it in our program. I have connected eight different LEDs. So eight different pins of this port are connected to eight different LEDs. This is the ground. All LEDs are connected to the ground. You can form different designs. You can form the neat uh, and tidy design uh, to simulate this on your simulator. So let's see how this program is to be executed. So to work with key, you have to just type your key and it will search it for you. Just click open, you will get this key ID. Now whatever it is on right now, just close by clicking on project and close project. So every open file will become closed now. And that's how you will get a cleaner environment to code your project. So click on project to create a new project. Click on new micro region project. Now it will prompt you to give the name of your uh, practical or of your project. So here I'm giving binary control using eight LEDs. Now you can give any relevant name. No need to give the project file extension. Now click on save. The next it will prompt you to select your microcontroller so to do that you have to just type kp89c51 so this is what listed already so i just select it and you click it okay now we are not going to have any by default startup code in our project so simply click no now you see in this target the, i mean this is project is created but right now there is nothing in this project so to add to this we have to write a file space c file to do so you can click on this or you can click on file new this is a simple text file where you can type your code so i will not be wasting my time in typing but i simply copy and paste my code so when i'm pasting my code you see that my code is not interpreted that means it is looking like simple text file but if you're going to save this file by clicking on this save button this file is to be 
box selected uh, this file is to be saved with boxy extension name can be any but i'm using the same name as my project just for my reference you can use any name here click on save now you see that this file got interpreted means the keywords are highlighted differently even these curly braces are recognized etc now we need to add this file the c file into the source group so simply right click on it click on add existing files to the group and now just search for your file that you created so this is c file you see if you click on this and click on add so this file has got added simply close it now the next is we need to build this project to do so you can click on this or you can just right click on this and you can build the project before building we need to also set some option so click on option under this target tab select here 11.0592 make a house as a frequency of this microcontroller in output click on this create hex file and click ok after doing that you can simply click on this build so it will build the target by creating the hex file remember zero errors and zero warnings are necessary in case you are getting errors or warnings most of them will be the typographical errors you can correct them by checking into this item now the hex file is created now we'll be going to the nsisbg software to create our project so now if you want a new canvas click on this new since this earlier design is not saved it will come to me do you want to save this design i'll click on yes if i want to save it and i can save it to my folder wherever i want to store it so suppose i am storing it here so in that designs folder i can save this as my display so this was my report demo design so i just write the name some relevant name and then click on save now after doing that since i had already clicked on new so this will give me the new canvas now in this component mode you have to click on pick devices from this you can search for the microcontroller that you are going to use so the microcontroller that we use is AT89C55 so this is how the microcontroller will be listed you can select accordingly then i also need eight different leds so there are different led color versions i'll be using different colors so that i can create a nice output so here there are different leds i am uh, just selecting the red green red and these blue green red these leds i have so i select them now if you click on open so i will be using four different type of leds color leds so i have selected it blue already now i am selecting green then i select red and then i can select yellow one so this is yellow so yes now you can close this window and now let us design it on canvas so here is a new processor microcontroller sorry and these eight leds are to be connected to the eight different teams of this board so i will be using these leds to connect it here now, so i will use different leds just to create a nice pattern So you can align them nicely. So you can have a uniform distance between them. So I choose blue, green, red, yellow. So okay, I'm also going to repeat the same pattern. take some time but 
pure pour le moment, ça ne parle pas de l'autre, je sais pas bien. Je fais toujours ça, je peux me connecter à toutes ces LEDs avec le ground. Donc, je vais me connecter avec le ground. Je vais me connecter avec le ground et tous ces terminaux peuvent être connectés avec le ground. Donc, de cette façon, je vais connecter ça. So you can simply connect all the LEDs to the ground in this way. So all the LEDs are connected to the ground. Now these LEDs have to be connected to the board. So you can connect these board pins one by one to these LEDs. I'm just trying to make this as a neat and clean diagram so it will take some time to design so this is how all the different 8 pins of the heater board connected to the LEDs now the next step is just double click on this microcontroller and select for the hex file that we have just created so that hex file can be browsed by the photo so you can go to this and you can go to the objects let me just check that where i have saved my file yes so here it is so click on this hex file it was created you can also change the frequency here as 11.052 megahertz. Simply click OK and now we can start our simulation. So you see, as the P2 will change the value, this will also show the values here. So this is a binary counter. So initially the value was going to be like 0, then 1, then 0, 1. That way it will describe all the values or just display all the values in terms of this LED. If you want it to be a little faster, you can simply come to this and uh, you can change this relay. Um, just pick the relay 2 and save it. Be good. Now, no need to perform any changes here. That hex file will automatically take an effect and click here. Okay, so you can see that now, since we have minimized the loop delay, so it is doing it faster. So this is how a binary counter can be simulated using eight different LEDs. Thank you for watching this video.